Okay, this is quite the experience. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's Patricia. Today I am going to head out to the Niman area here in Chiang Mai. I haven't really gone through that area since I am staying in the old city here. So I thought I would check it out today. So if you're interested, keep watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section below. I would greatly appreciate it. So yeah, I plan to check out the one Niman market or shopping center, maybe the promenade there. And I've already been to the Maya shopping center. I'll take you guys around with me. Niman is known for to have some really cool cafes, lots of different types of shops and it's more of a, I guess, modern, nice, upscale area here in Chiang Mai. A lot of tourists and also locals love the area. And if you are a digital nomad, you obviously know about this area. There's lots of co-working spaces there and a whole bunch of different options if you were to live here in Chiang Mai. There's a lot of different apartment complexes and definitely lots of Airbnbs and really nice places to stay in Niman area. On my way to the One Niman Center, I took a grab there and it cost about 65 to 70 baht. Hey everybody, so I have arrived at the One Niman shopping center market. <laughs> yeah, lots of different types of shops, cafes, and restaurants. Now, I did go during the day here. I heard from some people that I've met in Thailand that it's best to go in the evening time. So that's why there's not very many people, but it kind of depends what you would prefer to do. I did find that pretty much all the stores inside here were open except for maybe one or two. Shopping in areas like this, either the sh a shopping center or mall, they usually t can take credit cards or your overseas debit card. I would still recommend bringing cash just in case they charge a fee to use the credit card machine. This was a very unique cafe. Here is the drink menu with the prices. This monsoon tea place had some samples. I definitely had the lychee black tea. <laughs> it was really good. It was also a very, very popular store. They do have a street market just outside here and then they have kind of like an outdoor style type of shopping center, kind of like uh, the mall, I guess, but outside. But, or usually like an outlet mall, for example, but it's not an outlet mall. Um, there is a lot, of, a lot of shade here, so you guys won't be in the direct sunlight, which is, I guess, good since it's about 36 degrees right now. <laughs> Lots of different types of shops and very nice architecture here at the Waniman Center. The night market didn't start until later in the evening. As I mentioned, I was here during the day. 
I ended up going for a walk throughout Nimon area. There's a hostel right outside the market. I just walked a few blocks down and there's lots of different streets with lots of cafes and little shops. There is also lots of accommodation in the Nimon area, so if you ever wanted to kind of get out of the old city and stay somewhere else, I would recommend this area. Okay, I couldn't really record there because the music was really, really loud and, you know, don't want to get, you know, flagged for having music in the background. So that was one of the really popular cafes here in Iman and to be honest, it was pretty good. Pretty good coffee, very strong. I thought the skull cups were really, really cool, but literally everywhere you go here, there's a cafe, like on every, every single street. Um, so yeah, if you are looking for co-working spaces or cafes, come to this area. And right beside this cafe, there's another one called Fohide. So I guess I'm checking that one out now. I guess I'm going cafe hunting. <laughs> I'm taking the elevator or lift, we'll call it. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting on that. Here it is. I oh, don't know, more than three people. Oh. Okay, this is quite the experience. Okay, oh look at this says do not touch door when moving, please wait 10 seconds. Oh, here we go. Imagine if I got stuck in here. It's like 36 degrees right now. <laughs> uh, this is interesting. It's supposed to be like a rooftop cafe. I'm gonna be jacked up on coffee all day. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, this is an experience. Spent so much money on coffee today. It's absolutely nuts. Oh. Oh, this is cute. Okay, I'll show you guys. This is the cocktail I got. Not even cocktail, oh my gosh. Coffee drink. I think I like this cafe way better than the other one. They definitely have different vibes to them. Here's more relaxed, chill. They also, I'm outside at the moment with the view, but they also have an area with air, AC. I should maybe be in there, my phone is overheating. Oh, there it is, back to normal. This is another popular area in Nimon. It's more closer to the Maya shopping center, but they have a lot of different stores and restaurants here that you can check out. I did find that they do open later in the day, um, I believe this was around maybe 3 p.m. and not much was open yet. So that concludes today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed my cafe journey today. I sure did. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.